The commitment and dedication of sports requires a special kind of person. We wanted to understand what it takes to become a college athlete and what can be gained. To elaborate on this subject, we decided to get the perspective of Remley Har, goalie for the women's lacrosse team at the college at Brockport. She's a junior majoring in athletic training and sciences. We asked her about her thoughts on the purpose of sport, why she started playing, what motivates her, and how it affects her as a student. I grew up in Fairport, New York, and currently live in uh, Gates. Uh, well, my brothers uh, all played football in high school, and uh, two of them played lacrosse, so I decided to follow them, picked up lacrosse, and the rest is history. <laughs> I think it's just the pace and it's, it's just a fun team game. Really, my teammates are my biggest motivators. I do everything I can so I can help them. I, my ultimate goal for being at Brockport would be to win a SUNYAC championship and then at least get into the Final Four in the NCAA tournament. Her favorite part and the hardest part of being on the team are... Um, I like the pace of the game and I really like the relationships that you get with your teammates and even with other teams. We're at 20 people right now. All 20 girls can get along and not have any infighting. Um, I feel like for a men's team that's probably not as bad, but for a women's team that's definitely one of our main concerns. Trying to avoid injury, trying to avoid um, overtired or anything like that. Trying to keep my relationship with the team positive. The hardest part is getting 26 girls to all get along. <laughs> she also talked about the tone of the team and the life lessons she learned along the way. I, we're a really positive group, um, really energetic and really dedicated. I think that's why this year is looking to be a good year. I've been on teams that aren't as cohesive as this group is and when you have infighting there is almost no doubt that you will not have a good season that year. A lot of it will be how to work with people, how to take criticism and give criticism. It's proven to me that hard work and dedication will get you to where you need to be, be that with your job, relationships, anything. You'll be all right as long as you put in the work that's necessary. Your hard work isn't going to waste. And teaching those lessons to others. I personally have coached three other goalies and two of them are now in their second year of high school and it's been interesting over the past three years to see them just grow and get better at the sport. It's interesting because they've, as they've grown, I've grown and we've developed a closer connection than just coach and goalie. Yeah, it's been fun because I've been, I've been coaching them for the past three years and they've all shown a lot of growth and her other pastimes? I mean, I'll typically just come back home, relax. I might hang out with my teammates. I might hang out with people in my hallway. The only other thing that I can do besides play lacrosse is juggle. And not too well, but I can juggle. <laughs> she mentioned some of her best performances and what she learned from them. I would say that the best performance I ever had was against Cortland last year. It was a... 12 goal game, they won in overtime, I'd had 12 saves, I was at 50% and I mean I wasn't okay with the loss but I, I knew I did everything I could to try and help my team win and that's really all I could ask for. <laughs> she told us how participating in sport affects her as a student and how she compensates for that time lost. Uh, it definitely interferes mainly when we're in season, when we're out of season and just doing fall ball it's not too big of a problem but the time dedication is um, at least two hours a day, sometimes three, maybe four. There will be many times where you have to miss um, a class because you have a game and you have to travel and after your practice, after your game, you're either sitting in the library or sitting at your desk in your room and then you finally just crash and you start it all over the next day. A lot of it will be just like personal um, commitment where you just have to condition, you weight lift, um, you, like you go to the wall, you play wall ball, you find a friend who can pass and catch or shoot on you, in my case. And um, you just really have to put in that extra time, but it pays out and it's really obvious that it pays out. And what she would take away, miss the most, and envision herself doing afterwards. Uh, after college, I hope to be an athletic trainer. And along with that, I hope to be a goalie coach somewhere, hopefully in a high school or maybe at the college level. Uh, it's taught me a lot. 
basically just never give up and pursue whatever you want. Like anything that has an obstacle, you can get by it with hard work and dedication. Um, and I'll definitely miss the teammates that I've had and all the bonds that have happened there. I will miss my teammates. <laughs> it takes time and dedication to be a student. It takes even more to be a student athlete. Remley is just one case among Brockport's vast sporting community, which supports its commitment to each other and their team. Go Brockport, let's beat Cortland. <laughs> what we learned from Remley is that hard work will always pay off in one way or another, which leads to valuable experience and success in the future.